terrible, Chell. Terrible. Okay, how's the audio going through? Why is YouTube not saying I'm live? Why is YouTube not saying I'm live? Okay, sounds good. Okay, we got a lot of people in chat. Steel, you were the first message. How's it going? Dennis, August. Looks like they forgot to connect the nacelles. Yes, they did. Storm players. Mark the chief. Theo. Uh, no, Chell, there's no freebies here. Well, I yeah, knowledge. You get to see how to set up uh, a tort build on a side ship. Um, Mia. Samantha, this would be perfect. Been wanting advice for building the Miriam. It's it's a good ship. It's it's not for everyone, but it is like performance wise, it is the the best of the three ship options in the uh, the new mods bundle. It just is a build type that not pe many people care about. Freak boy, how's it going? Uh, Chell, you know as well as I that literally the only pets that matter right now are the Type Sevens. Using anything else is like throwing. Well, I shouldn't be that that direct with it. There are there are still some pets out there that are still viable, but type sevens have rendered the majority of pets in the game uh, useless. Uh, Bexel, I wish console got it now also, but we just got yeah. It's gonna be another month till you guys get this. Ice Knight, Findan, Steel. Michi, Mia, Merkstar, Michael, how's it going? Cheops. Um. Online Architect, J, Jebby, XGM, Voltic. It, Warp Core, is this going to be an elitist build that you insist normal players shouldn't do? I mean, it, it's the same caveat as any, or same disclaimer as any other tort build of that. This is you know built for elite content and if you're trying to take it into normal or advanced you know torps just never perform as well in that lower difficulty content the thing is the type sevens bring in so much debuff that pets that aren't type sevens just I i'm not going to bother slotting them moving forward if there's a hangar bay on a ship it's for type sevens um yeah, me. So I'm trying something a little bit different with the lighting today. Let's get those lights back on. Got the got the window open. Get some some sunlight in here, which is terrible, absolutely terrible. But let's get. Uh, I just got random gear on the ship right now. Was just using it for for storage. Let me get caught up on chat here, and my restream has disappeared. Okay, there we go. Whiskey Tango, Estrek, Blackrock, Scuba. How's it going? Whiskey, you got the Iwani on console yesterday with a free coupon? That That's good. The the Iwani is a must-have. Waldo? Did I have my coffee yet? I mean, I filled this, this cup like less than half an hour ago, and it's already pretty much gone. Draco, Michael, you opted for keys instead of a Marion because you hate the 32nd century ships. You did get a ship box at least, so some congrats on that, but terrible. You hate the 32nd century ships. A lot of them do look really bad, I'm not going to lie. Some of them do look cool, though. Elitist content. Type 7 Bay, exactly. Flashbang lighting. <sighs> not yet. But the uh, I, I do have a monitor on the way, and it was it was a bit more expensive than I thought. So there's going to be another challenge stream popping up next month. I'm going to have different tiers to the challenge stream, and it'll be running for the entire month of April. Got to fund that new monitor, you know. Might even be multiple challenge streams if uh, if certain goals are hit. Heidman D. What is that new type of light bulb? Yeah, I know. I mean, 
I've got the windows open. It is, what's the temp out? 47? That's a good temp. I like 47 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep this temp year round. I'd be very happy. Um, is this a kale type build? I have random gear on the ship because I created a loadout just to store a bunch of random crap from my inventory. Is that a beer mug worth of coffee? Damn right it is. Bama girl, how's it going? Mac. Nuclear triad. Nice. Mark, if you haven't picked up the Iwani, make sure to grab the Iwani at some point also. Um, what monitor did I get? An expensive one. Um, so there was a promo going on, and I got this for 520 But it's a 32-inch 4K mini LED. So it's got... Uh, 1,125 local zones, and I I don't know if, you know, how, how good quality it's going to be. You know, I'll, I'll find out here when it arrives Sunday, but you know, if, it, I've had my eye on this for a little bit. So when I saw that there was a promo going on where, where um, there was a $200 off coupon, and then I stacked it with these 20% offs, um, I ended up getting it for 520 but I had to pick up another monitor on, alongside it. So they had one that was like 80 bucks, but it ended up making it much cheaper than the normal price. Time for Uh For the Type 7s, do hanger power consoles with phaser buff boost? You don't even need to worry about the hanger consoles with the, the Type 7s. You, you just focus on buffing up your damage and you let the type sevens do their thing. Don't don't with the type sevens, you don't have to worry about buffing them up. You get the elite version of those pets. They've got their own fire at will. They've got attack pattern beta three with the fleet ones. They're, they're just crazy good. And then they have another debuff on them, which can be up to minus 80 debuff. Janeway, get the man another cup of coffee. Uh, yeah, that's why they briefly pulled the bundle, uh, Merc Stars, because people that didn't choose the NJ were getting the NJ. Isaba, how's it going? Iron Knife Only. How good is Temporal Tunneling off the Atlantis? It's pretty good. What am I going to do for April 1st? Um, I don't know, Warpcore. Us big guys love 47 degrees. Damn right. Lord Bane, how's it going, Ramsman? 71 here in Orlando, Florida. Oof. Too warm. Uh, Chell, do I know Friendship Console Active Credit H on recipient stacks? Honestly, I don't recall, Chell. Um, the Type 7s come off the Iwani. The Iwani also has a must-have console. When I do a C-Store... But when I get around to doing like a, a top C-Store ship video, I'm telling you guys, the, the Iwani... The Iwani is so important that I'm putting it above the Avenger and the Gagarin. Like, if if you buy one ship right now, you get the Iwani. It's that impactful. The ship itself isn't going to be the best for most people, but the accessories on it are just that good. Um, Michelle, if you're around, we can stack, you know, we can stack that on someone. Find out. Whiskey Tango. Urging. This may regret me passing on the Marion. Almost bought the Mega Bundle. This is one of them where the Mega Bundle would have been worth it. Devs for trolling trays with that bug? Yeah. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that. The last time I did an April Fool's video, though, I did uh, I opened Phoenix packs over on Tribble, and I showed the, the console on the Tribble test server that lets you get infinite resources, and people thought I was being serious. It was very clearly April Fool's, but people thought I was being serious. So they legitimately, I had people uh, telling me that they had left work to go and try and rip open some Phoenix packs. Nick, how's it going, man? What do I think the ship from beyond is that they were teasing? It'll, I don't know. It'll probably... There, there was a sh uh, 
one ship that was briefly in an end phase of the movie that people were going crazy about, and then there's the the latest version of the, the Calvin Connie, so I don't know which they'll do. Spencer's going to be hard pressed to top that April Fool's joke. I mean, I've Michael, I've had some people asking me what I do for for a living recently, and Kathy, thank you for the five. Very much appreciated. I'm a, I've had some uh, some some questions for for the Q and A asking you know what I do for a living, and I've, I've had some April Fool's uh, thoughts with that also. Oh, Maslin, how's it going? Yeah, I can pull that video up. In fact, let me do that. Let me show you guys that video. Like, I, I legitimately, I had people get so mad that they have not talked to me since. They got that mad about it. Why'd the notification not pop up? Did something get broken in OBS? Oh, the settings are... I don't know why... There, there seems to be some lag pretty bad with the uh, with the stream elements right now. Not sure what's going on. Okay. We're going to play this video. This is my April Fool's video from 2022 that I had to... Un that I had to make unlisted because people took it serious. Hey, folks. Spencer here, and... Today I just want to do a variety of things, and the first thing I want to do is show off this this brand new opening spot that I heard about on ESD Zone chat. They said if I go over to Drozana and I stand on some weird console over here, that if I opened Phoenix tokens right over here, that I would have really insane luck. So I am going to give that a shot today. So this console is well here here it is on the map on Drozana. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's over here by some tables. It's glowing here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I have 60 Phoenix prize packs that I'm going to try to open here. We're going to see if the people in EST zone chat were right for once. I doubt it, but you know, we'll find out. I only have 60 packs here. This is like $5 worth of Zen to get, you know, this amount of packs. So will I be able to get an Epic token out of my $5? Let's find out. The first box gives me an epic token. That's crazy. Um, but guys, I th I think ESD Zone Chat may have actually been right for once. This is I. I feel like I need to get some more money uh, into the game here and get me some more Phoenix packs. I. I this is crazy. I don't think I've gotten anything other than an epic token so far. What is going on? <laughs> Out of the 60 Phoenix packs that I had, I just got 60 epics. Guys, this this is the spot right here. You see where I am? I am on Drozana. I am standing over here on this weird glowing console. You know... Let, let's see what this console even has. The ESD Zone Chat people told me that this was a really special console. So let me let's take a look. What does it have? It's got tester packs. What what are these? Man, I twelve thousand marks and five hundred of the elite token. Whoa! Is this like this for each reputation? Boys, this this console's got it all. It's got everything for all the reputations. What what is this? Stilithium salvage expertise and energy credit pack? Let's let's. Uh, it just gave me a ton of energy credits and salvage and XP. How many times can I claim this? Is it just lets me claim it over and over again? Uh, uh, you know, look, look, guys, it was, it was fun to show this all to you, but, uh, I, I need to get a few characters over here and, uh, take advantage of this. So see you all next time.
That is a video that people fell for. We even had a, a few people uh, sitting over on Drozana just to see how many people would actually go over to the console and try it. And there were a few that legitimately did. That was my April Fool's video from 2022. I had to unlist it because people got like super triggered about it. Um, Saberson, I haven't even gotten to the build yet. Spencer is an IRS agent. He just doesn't want anyone to know. Terrible. Rachel, how's it going? Former ISOMAG dealer looking for work. <laughs> I mean, the, the Kanye would be a, a good candidate for lockbox promo. Oh, yeah, Chell, I'm sorry. Um, let me see. Yeah, so. I'm not going to speak to you anymore. Terrible. Okay. Um, Storm, Storm is right here. Let me grab the friendship console. What the hell is it called? I just, the, this build has just random stuff stored on it right now. That's why it looks like it does. So we haven't actually got to, to building it out yet. Uh, what, what's the name of the friendship console? I know I've got it like right in front of me. Power transmission. No, oh, that's the E2 console. Oh no, here it is, here it is. Yeah, tra power transfer emitters. Okay, I'm gonna hit this on Storm here. Storm, can you open your uh, your stat window and just tell us if the, uh, if you get more, like how much crit chance you go up by? Okay, I'm gonna hit it on Storm here. There's no listing of it stacking. So it doesn't appear to stack. Yeah. Well, the two is under the friendship trait. Paste it in Discord. Thank you. So it's only one stack. It doesn't stack. Only the trade stacks. Okay, let's get this crap off the build. Rip space on the ship. This ship is smaller than the friendship, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. I mean, they're both pretty big. Yeah. And it's also an activation for the, uh, the, the trait. Let's put some stuff on the, the ship here. So Torp wise going to start off. We're going to go EBM, then Delphic. We're going to set this up like a Torp build. Then I'm going to do Neutronic. And I do want to use the Maelstrom. So for my fourth torpedo, I am going to go Maelstrom. And then I'll just have the Dark Matter aft. And for the other two aft weapons here... Mines would be the easiest option. You could also do, uh, like, some set bonuses if you wanted. Um, I guess... Do I even have room for mines on this? 
I'll I'll put two mines on it for right now, and then I'll see if I have room for for them here in a few minutes. Um, so let's go. I think mine's fine. Whatever mines you prefer. I'm gonna do fleet colony deflector for the sec def. I'm gonna run with a uh, fleet research lab one. You can use whatever sec def you want. I'm just gonna go deteriorating. Um, inhibiting does have some applications now also. For the engines here, for normal content, you would do the prevailing, but I am going to go with the, the Romulan ones here for the, the weapon amplification that they have. For the deflector, or for the, the, the core and shield, given them also doing some science stuff here, I think I'm going to go Revo 2 piece. What do I think the new tokens are about? I, I don't know. I mean, hopefully it's to make ships account wide. That that would be great. We're adding a hangar bay to each ship. Um, The dark matter is so that I can still have the lurker console on for that two piece. You could do a third mine if you wanted. to put the Fakiri console on alongside the Lorca. The Fakiri console has buffs to a bunch of nice uh, sources here, like physical, radiation, and so on. Cold, thank you for stopping by. What would I put on... What would I put on if building for Torp Spread? Um... I mean, you could do dual maelstroms, and then you could still do EBM and Delphic. Rob, how's it going? So if I'm setting this up as a more traditional, like, side torp platform, I'm going to have some TAC consoles on here for, for the torps. So for, for the other three TAC consoles, the, the two universals plus this one TAC here. I'm just going to slot some, some Torp uh, exploiters on. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the Eagle... The issue with Torps right now is that if you're looking to do a high-end Torp build, you're basically locked to just one ship, the, the Eagle, because it's the only ship that can do the, uh, can really spam Assault Formation Theta and also go in and benefit from the, the console that the Eagle has. Intriguing. Where are the Kentari and Ferengi missiles on that build? I don't think I even have them on this character. Um, well, the Ferengi one I probably do because I have all the space lobby items on this character. Stunned, how's it going? Brilliant, just building this ship out. It's uh, going to perform interesting. Okay, for the consoles here, I am going to slot the Covert Warhead module off of the Eagle because that is pretty much a must-have for any torpedo build. Um, I'm going to do Bioelectrical Wave Capacitor off of the Connie 3 because that does perform quite well for, for EPG. I'm going to go with the VAQ. This is basically the Emulating Phaser Lance for torpedo builds. It's off of the Texas class. Oh, terrible. Sam, is DPRM not going to be a game changer for a ship? I mean, it, DPRM is still a good console. It's just... I, I didn't want people to have an expectation that just slotting that on their build was going to, you know, take them up to like a million DPS. Terrible. We'll do Genesis Seed, because that's also nice for, for exotics. We'll get Neutronic Eddies on. 
Doing a nice little mix of side torp here. No. What benefit would that be, though, Voltic? Like, you on a, if a ship has a hangar bay, you put Type Sevens on it. If you're doing anything min, like min max now, like no other hangar pet matters. It, it literally is Type Sevens, because the amount of debuff that Type Sevens bring in is just that insanely powerful. The moment you're not doing Type Sevens is the moment you're going off meta. They are that impactful. With type sevens, be giving the amount of debuff that they that they give, like a. Well, let's break this down here. With type sevens, you have six of them per bay. Okay, so there's six of these per bay. The attack pattern beta three from them. That's fifty debuff. Close in sensor pass when it goes up against a, a foe that has shields uh, that has shields offline or that facing offline. That's another eighty debuff from those pets. And you've got six of them per bay. That is 780 debuff. I don't care if you have a hangar bay doing 100k. That debuff beats them. These are, like... I know people will still want to run their Todouche fighters, their Romulan drone ships, and whatever. But I'm telling you from a meta point of view, Type 7s are the only hangar pets that matter now. They... Nothing competes with them. Nothing. Because that debuff is applied to everything. The, the focused assault hanger pets that we were using for supports before, those were only applying, you know, focused assault to, to one target. This is debuff. And it's a huge amount of debuff per hanger bay. Lord Kimpak. But but still Voltic. I mean, I could do that, sure, but I'm not getting anything from the, the hangar pet buff there, really. Yeah, it's like Chell's saying there, 780 debuff is, is, like, if you're hitting a target and it has 780 debuff on it, that is a three and a half times damage multiplier. Like, that, that easily beats any pets, any other pets out there. Yeah. I mean, for, for me personally, if I have a hangar bay on a ship, every hangar bay is type 7s, and I don't worry about buffing up the pets anymore. I just let the type 7s buff me up. Yeah, and that that's another thing too, Ramsman, thank you for pointing that out. I've had um, some people in the comments on the, the video and in some discords mentioning that they bought the new months bundle, but when they, they bought it, they only got, you know, one box. A reminder, and I've shown this in the, the videos, um, that when you buy one of these bundles that has a ship pack in here with multiple ships in it, when you initially buy it, it just puts one copy of the box in your inventory. All you have to do is go to the ships tab in the mud store, and there's going to be an infinite infinitely reclaimable box there that will let you get the other two ships from that box on that character. And then you can go and copy that as many times as you want, or claim it as many times as you want on your other characters to get all three of the ships. So just don't go great postal in my comments. You just have to, to go to the ships tab in the mud store after buying the bundle. I agree, Chell, absolutely. Okay, back to the, the ship here. Um, Agony is fine, but what other options do I have here? Um, let's put Dragon's Breath on. The only thing that sucks about the Iwani is that with the, the current... The, the current support meta for, for high-end runs is the only viable support platform we have is the Silic, just because of the console on it. As soon, it you know, if the IFF manipulator console ever gets unlocked to, to be usable on other ships, 
we're going to see a lot more diversity with what platforms are viable for supporting in high high level runs but as nice as the awani is for supporting the the issue is that at the end of the day so long as iff manipulator is locked to that uh to that small selection of ships the silic is basically the only viable high-end support platform which which does suck and that has been devalued which i know chell's about to say but iff manipulator still has a lot of value in those runs uh kigo yes yep the the friendship or the both rampart are now what i would prefer to tank in over the sticks the the friendship probably being the the top option is it a good bundle i think it's it's i think it's fine no, the Fakiri Torment Engine just has some nice buffs on it that synergize with some, some builds. Yeah, the Friendship is technically going to be the best with the, the current meta, but the Voth Rampart would be a fine substitute, especially if you're not as worried about, um, you know, going in, hitting OSS prior to hitting, hitting the Oani console on a teammate. Well, the Rampart does have Command. Yes. Yeah. But the Rampart is a light deck carrier, so it's it's got Command Merrick Worker, and um, it's got two hangar bays, so it can do shoot two bays of Type 7s. And some people have that on account wide unlock, which is what makes it a good option for, for like setting up as a tank moving forward. The sticks is still fine, but just understand that, like... If you're chasing meta, two bays beats one bay. Why is the Dark Matter Torp in the aft? Um, because I'm just using it for the two-piece, essentially, right now. This is Discord message. By the way, I'll probably show this when I do a... Uh, then do the ne next uh, news video, but to this showed up some more concept art from Hector. Another Ethereum ship concept uh, bit there. Yeah, Samantha, you will buff the damage up quite nicely with that. Um, Dark, I think that's going to depend on, you know, well, that's really going to depend on, you know, what value you place on those other items. But I, I do think that this is one of the better mega bundles. Um, you know, if there was a bundle for 100... So, so let's say you're looking to get the three ship options here. Now, if there was a separate bundle in the C store that was 100 bucks and it had two T6 coupons, 50 keys, two epic tokens, and 10 ultimate tech upgrades in it, I think most people would pick that up for 100 bucks. So I, I think that's that's what makes the mega bundle here appealing if you're already interested in the the choice pack dprm or ruin of our enemies um dprm is probably going to be be more useful for most people um ruin does rely on you getting the kill shot and yes the the build that i put on the marion here i will have posted in the discord at the end of the the stream so if you don't want to sit here and listen to me ramble about other things. It will end up being posted on the Discord. Okay, next console here. Let's see. I guess Agony is the simple choice. Would I get this bundle even without there being a Zen sale? I mean, that that's up to you. I mean, th this will go on the same 50% discount again in the future. I, Mac, I think this is one of the, the few, like, if you're interested in the pick three choice pack, I do think that the mega bundle is, you know, compared to other things in the game, it, it's not, it's, it's not a bad deal. It's, if you're already interested in the ships, going for the mega bundle is not terrible. <laughs> Ramble on my wayward son. Oh no.
Would Delta, Dyson, DMT, and Maelstrom be a good option? Um, the Dyson Torp, the issue I have with the Gravimetric is that it can kill you under high yield. Okay, um, so let's get the final console on here, because I am rambling a lot today. Let's see here, so I have Gravimetric, I have Bioelectrical, I have Eddies, got uh, Dragon's Blood there. Um, I mean, I could just do Deep here on for survivability. There we go. For the traits here, I don't think I have to change too much. A good day to die, adaptive offense, IAA, um, the key tactics that can come off the build here. I don't need fleet tactician, or fleet tactician I don't need. I wish when I hit traits it would let me go and actually go to them. Okay, so going from the top here, good day to die, adaptive offense. Uh, Duelist Fervor is fine. Fleet Coordinator. Fragment of AI Tech. Intelligence Agent Attaché is fine. Kinetic Precision is fine. Particle Manipulator. Self Mod Fire. Parent and Targeting, Boimler, and I guess Uncon. I'll do Uncon instead of Duelist. Or the starship traits here. Um, I'll do. Well, I'll leave assault formation theta on. That weapon amplification is going to buff up the revo set. Um, probably don't need sleeveless here. Don't need. Don't need the friendship trait. Um. Don't need ETM here. Scrolling through here, seeing what else I want to put on. Spore infused, of course. Terran goodbye is fine. Ruin will be fine. That's fine. So, you're probably wondering why no ETM. Um, part of the... W with the, the current high-end tort meta, um, there's been a shift away from ETM, where people are, instead of having a high-yield 3 on the build, what you'll see is people will have a torp spread 3 for the Maelstrom, and then just focus on high yield with the other torps, basically. And then that also opens up a trait slot for something else, so. Um, the Mega Bundle was a good choice for this specific bundle. Yeah. Yeah, and make sure if you're buying Zen through Epic. I, I know I mentioned this quite a bit, but I... I I've occasionally I'll get comments from people that buy Zen through Epic, not realizing that you have to have a linked account. Whenever I say it, I try to always mention, you know, if you have an Epic linked account, you know, that getting Zen through that is going to be your best route. Um, but if you do not have an Epic linked account, and if you have an ARC account, you cannot currently link over to, to Epic. Like, don't, don't buy through Epic if you don't have a linked account. You won't get your Zen. And Epic doesn't like to refund. But yeah, if you have access, you have a linked account, then that is very much the way to go. Um, Dark, are the last winter and summer ships worth it? Yeah, absolutely. The the summer ship especially, you, you really should pick up for, for the console and the, the trade from that. It's really good for disruptor builds, and the stuff on it does also boost up uh, some science stuff. That's this Dragon's Blood Flame Reactor. Pretty good console, and... It has a very nice effect here. So definitely pick up the summer ship if you have the resources to do so. 
Is Disruptor Cannon Build trash? No, Disruptor Cannon Builds are fine. Disruptor Cannon Builds are uh, still still like one of the meta go-tos when you're doing normal or advanced content. The Temerian ship isn't as good, but it is still good to have. Jay, how's it going? Okay, back to the bridge officer setup here. Commander Sai, let me put this on here. So I'm going to do a call emergency artillery three. I'm going to do a grav well one, BRB one. I've got a tractor beam here. Then we'll do, we're going to put CF over in this uh, Lieutenant Commander Inch here, but for the second science, um, that leaves me with, I guess I'll put the tractor beam there and then do a structural analysis. I don't have a ton of SIA on here though, do I? SIA may not be worth, I only have one right now. But I'd have to do very cold in space. I don't... I don't know if Spore Infuse is going to be the best on this setup with just basically two procs. That's very cold in space in the grav well. That's probably not going to be worth it. Yeah, Kigo. Um... Uh, so the thing is with the pets is that they're not constantly applying debuff. They they have beta on them and that, that debuff. So they activate those abilities and then they apply those debuffs for that limited time. All side buffs, so every skill is SA. Well, with this setup, that's not going to be like that. This setup is going to be a little bit more tactical focus because it's hybrid. So I'm going to do Corpse Spread 3, Beta 1, and then over here, I mean, I guess I can still do my Mind Dispersal Pattern. And I can put that uh, Tractor Beam Catapult ability on. Is sad and cold-hearted still need to with the type 7 pets? I mean, it depends on if you're playing with the team or not. I mean, I, I think sad is still fine in especially like a pug environment. Cold-hearted. The, the thing with the pets is they're not always providing that debuff. It is for just a limited time. Um, so they're going to have like a third uptime on those debuffs. So if you want to have some debuff for when they don't have stuff up, then there, there is still value to that, especially in a pug environment. CJ, how's it going? I still have beta on, um, again, because the debuff from the pets is not always there. Jellyfish, scout ship, good for... It, it's got a very flexible setup reality, so basically go look at a Vern setup or Lucari... Uh, Jenner or scout ship could like go go find a build for those and just copy it over to the jellyfish do i prioritize fa over attack power and beta when i have choices um i always i, I always try to to prioritize the the beta yeah okay um and for for this one Concentrate Firepower 3, and let's see, for, for the last slot here, I could do, like, Structural Integrity Claps or a Let It Go. Um, let's do Let It Go. Put your, so ABP, are you, you mean Attack Pattern Beta? I, I would, so normally I have my firing mode and then the attack pattern, I guess is what I should clarify with my trays. Yeah. So I, if I'm doing a uh, setup like this, I'm going to have my firing mode, 
than my attack pattern most time. Do I think it's healthy long term for the game for power group to become so finite with choices type sevens? It, it does suck. Like right now, the support platforms are locked to the, the Silic because of the IFF manipulator console, because that can provide up to minus 400 debuff against a single target. Um, so that that forces that ship to be the top support platform and basically the only viable platform um, for Torps right now. Your only viable high-end platform is the Terran Eagle because of the, the the console's interaction with the commander pilot ship. The Undine Chirax technically can work also, but not as well. You know why you should be running the Pavan Omni? It does proton damage and no enemy has proton resistance. Terrible. Well, I just have the mines on right now just to see how it goes. I haven't heard anything about first contact day. Well, CJ, there is one benefit to going for the choice pack. If you ever need to pick up epic tokens in the future, you can rebuy re the choice pack and you'll have that way to get cheap epics. Do I have a cannon build video? Um, look at my Metal Plasma setup from last year. Um, that's That's got a lot of the basics that you'd see on a lot of cannon builds. But it's also, that's catered more for, for Plasma and speed runs. Can't you rebuy the choice pack if you get the Mega Bundle, though? I don't think so. Shinji, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I know, Chell. But it's still a lot of debuff. We have found that to be very, very impactful. And uh, I don't know anything about the first Contact Day event, Warp Core. Um, I do want to show something. I know I'm getting really off track here. But while we're on the topic of cannons, while we're on the topic of cannons, um, this is a run attempt from the other day. This this run failed, but look at how fast the left side goes down. All the haste. I left the left side 17 seconds at 4.6 million. Unfortunately, the rest of the run, uh, well, it, 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 the, the run, let's, it ended right there. You can buy the choice pack if you bought the mega bundle. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Then yeah, go for the mega bundle and then you'll always have the option for the choice pack to get more epics if you want. Okay, back to this though. I'm gonna set up my trays here because I keep getting off topic. So I'm gonna manually fire my torp spread. I'm gonna have my mine pattern on my keybind here. Um, then for the torps, I'm gonna have, why can I not drag that? There we go. EBM, Delphic, and then uh, Neutronic here on my tray. The Maelstrom is going to be manually fired. I am also going to put my mines on here because if I don't, they don't like to fire for whatever reason. So that's going to be my main tray. Go on there also. Perfect. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot console wise. I can't believe I forgot it. Um, let's take agony off right now. I need membrane. Phased space membrane. Okay. Phased space membrane is going to be manually activated. Um, I have some of my science consoles here that are going to have to be manually clicked because some of these do like to um, turn off when you hit them again. Genesis seed there. I'm forgetting another trait here. Um, oh, I have REA on, okay. Terrible. Yeah, like Chell said, about 7%. <laughs> Terrible, Jay. 
Yeah, the PC version of STO is is like if if you intend to play this game long term, the PC version is the way to go with. You just get a lot more options with how you set stuff up. I'm just going to use SCM today because I I don't recall if if Kraus is here. Is real time back up on the latest Oscar download? Okay. Oh, I need to fix power levels. Oh, they're already there. Okay. Should be. Oh, I gotta reset that. Good then. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. How's the Marion? I mean, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's been effective for, for the, the build that I was hoping to, to set it up for, for the side nuking, but for general side torp, I think it's also very capable. Lurk the streams from doing Advertly. Gotcha. Yeah. I've seen the console interface and it's just, you can play the game and enjoy it over there. But if you want to get really involved, um, if you want to get really involved, then the PC side is a lot better. Let me check. Um, so does the path get reset? No, it's still there. What's the two piece of the Eddie's consoles? Um, I don't think there is a two piece. Is there? Am I going crazy? Oh, there is. Engine power setting, um, EPG and control X skill. Ready for some action? Okay. Let's take this into an Argala and see how terrible I do. Or actually, instead of Argala, let's do... I guess the Argala is going to be easiest. Uh, fragment is based on so superior beam is that's cat two. Um, fragment is cat one. No, I didn't have my keybind for all my damage buffs first. Look at that FPS go. I have render scale 2 on. I took a picture right before this, do I? No, it's just that this is that graphically intensive. You have 30 FPS. Very, the very cinematic. Looks like our fight got them to notice us. I don't have relocate mines on my tray. Keep concentrating fire on individual ships. Separate them and whittle down their numbers. We will not go quietly. Cinematic FPS right here. That grab well one is so weak it can't pull the ships in. Oh no. I need to redo my keybinds on the spare too. Sensors are picking up small habitations in some of the asteroids. 
possibly consistent with bolt holes and temporary hideouts. That FPS just tanks so hard with all the size stuff up. Maelstrom there, unfortunate. Oh no. Yeah, I need to redo my keybinds here. I have too many things on inefficient keybinds. Yeah, not not the smoothest of runs. Martin, how's it going? Do I think we'll see the DOF limit raised 8 this year? I don't know. Um. Thank you for your assistance, and welcome to this sector. I'm flying the Marion Command Science Dreadnought. No Plasma Storm? I don't have it on this character. There's been a lot of turbulent activity recently, and multiple reports of danger to travelers. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't terrible. It was not perfect either. I clearly have some keybind issues here. Sounds like I should spend some of that Lobi. I refuse to use Lobi on Lobi ships. I think that's one of the worst things you can do with Lobi. If I, I know, okay? I know, I know. I know. There will be a video eventually. I don't have much EC, okay? Nothing's been selling. I had one DOF sell in like the past three days, and it sold this morning. Uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on things. So, Oscar, yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on it. I mean, I've got a KDF-20 posted um, for, for a billion. I hear that that's a good price for it. I only will, so so for me, um, the, my rules for Lobi is that if I'm going to buy ships, it either needs to be during a 50% sale or it needs to be uh, a promotional ship that they have temporarily put into the the Lobby store. If, if neither of those criteria are met, a promo ship or a 50% sale, then I'm not using my Lobby to, to buy ships. And those are my rules. Oh, like go three to 5% of CPU. Um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it, but this is, this, this computer is a bit beefy, so I don't know if it's going to have much opportunity to. This is, this computer is a 7950X plus a 7900XDX. They have not done either of those in a while, no. Um, is there anything that I'd like to see added for torpedoes? I think the just more diversity with the uh, pilot command combo ships. We need alternatives to the Eagle because having just the Eagle as the only viable high-end torp platform is a uh, pretty annoying thing. The last Lobi promo shell was not actually was not actually a promo. It was lockbox. It was the Talshar Adapted Destroyer.
the console off of the Eagle, um, when you use it on a ship with a commander pilot, it makes it so your torps have a half second shared cooldown. First one and a half second on every other ship out there. Um, so this is the Eagle console. Um, you see set shared torpedo recharge to 1.5 seconds if it was longer or 0 0.5 seconds if equipped ship has pilot maneuvers. So that basically means the Undine Chirax and the uh, the Eagle are like the only two really viable platforms for like high end torp stuff. Basically, the Eagle console made anything that's not the Eagle irrelevant. Deimos good for torps? No. If you're so one of the core requirements of a ship being capable of being like a high-end torp platform is that it needs to be able to run concentrate firepower three. If your ship does not have concentrate firepower three, you should not waste your time trying to set up a torp build on it. You're, you're wasting your time. Do people donate me ships? Um, people have in the past, um, but most of the ships I get, I am able to, to, to go in and pick up myself. Nope, not the legendary bird of prey. It has to have command. Lieutenant commander command, pretty hard requirement. Capro, how's it going, Mark? Reg? Um, there's another question. How much money have I spent realistically on the game? Um, since 2012, I've probably spent about three grand on Stowe. Um, but the, I'm in a position where most of what I put in, I, I'm able to get back to like the YouTube channel. So I could spend more, but I try to just use my in-game resources to get things. I pilot the Eagle. I mean, I have a do build on the Eagle. Remember Chadwick, I was doing like a, 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 a do tank setup on it for a while. Storm 5k Romeo. How's it going? Yeah. The only other option for like a high end tour platform with the, the pilot stuff is the, the Chirax, but that's, that requires a supported team because it doesn't have command on it. Um, but that's a four, four setup. So you can do mines with it. Um, we tried it and I had like a two point somewhere like 2.4, 2.6 when I tried it a while back, but the Eagle was just consistently much better. You mean your gold selling pays for everything? Terrible. Terrible. Is Torp Spread Maelstrom a thing of beauty or no? It is. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take CF. Uh, what do I need to take off my tray here? I'm going to swap my trays around here. Really? Vulnerability sweep just or something fell off my tray. Something fell off my train. I don't know what it was. I have a, like an absurd amount of lobby and I just refuse to use it. I follow that, that set of rules that I, I said before, like if I, if there's not a 50% sale or if there's not a, uh, like a promo or lockbox ship in the lobby store for a brief like duration, I'm not using my lobby on ships. I do have a dispersal pattern beta on. Yep. Oh, I need to put, um, relocate mines on. Thank you. And I guess it's been a while since I've done like a torp build with mines because the current meta Eagle stuff doesn't necessarily use mines that much. Um, I should put on 
Uh, Ruby and explosives would probably be useful here too. But I should put on... What's the name of it? Already went past it. It's down here. Resonating payload modifications. I'm going to drop adaptive offense for right now. Or now, what do I want to drop here? I'm going to drop fragment right now. I don't need to control that much. Um, resonating payload modifications with mines stacks up more than five stacks, so it's pretty nice to have. The Neutronic Torpedo is still one of the best. Um, so after, after the Maelstrom Torps, I would say the Neutronic is still your best spread torpedo to use. I, it's a rank one down here. I'm not doing ETM. I'm running a torp spread, and if I want a high yield, I can uh, just cloak and decloak. I've got assault formation theta on, which is then also buffing up the Revo two piece. The dark matter still has applications. Also, I just I, I would rather have a maelstrom than a dark matter. I would Voltic, I would pick that up for every every character I need it for. Okay, let's do an infected here. So who wants to, to join for an infected? And for the, the Marion here, um customization wise, I do have the Janeway skin on it, um, which makes it look a little bit better. Yeah, the like the high-end eagle builds also like they they're they're a bit different than what what you're probably used to seeing with tort builds. The, the eagle is just... It's a different beast. Romeo, you want in? How do they get to the nacelles transporters? Oh, okay. Uh, I've got room for two more for an infected elite. Uh, Rob, I think you and a tank would probably be the best. You got... Does your engineer have a tank build on it, Rob? Storm and Samantha, last two, okay. Storm, you were just next to me. I cannot find anyone in my friends list anymore. Uh, Martin, I we're full on this one. Samantha's got the, the last slot. Rob's gonna be tanking. Rob's got Rob's got a tank. Uh, Samantha, full dust. Okay. Rob, CF on the normal spots if you can. I heard engineers can't tank. Uh, well, Rob is very, very. Uh, glued to, to his engineer character, and if you say anything mean about his engineer, he's going to get very upset. So, um, no, his engineer is fine. His engineer is fine. Perfectly fine. Best engineer in the game. Please don't hurt me, Rob. We all good to go? Good to go. Storm, Rob, you both ready? Imagine if running into the planet brought you to the ground. I know.
Punch it. Okay. And I know Storm's ready. Here we go. I didn't load in from ground. I'm already, I'm already failing. With Torp builds, you want to load in from ground because it's a shorter load into the map. There's not uh, as lengthy of an animation. Hey. The situation is grim. All attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The situation's always grim. I don't want to pop all of my exotic stuff right at the start there. Keybinds are not great. Can you tell who's not used to flying corps anymore? Oh, no, we got a. That's a terrible grab well. Who's not set up for corpse anymore? I don't have a Delphic keep on set up either. Terrible. That was terrible. Under a million. Yeah, I need to add like a fourth tray for situations like this because I need to still have a Delphic keybind. Because not being able to do Delphic right into the, the cube there at the end is, is just bad. That was bad. That was bad. I was bad. Dude, my activations were just, just terrible there. My default hitting that. Uh, so Oscar is saying 1028. The real time is saying something else, though. So I guess that just picked up something. Um, so let's look there. I'm still like a million does. That's not great. Um, yeah, I need to set the different trays back up. I almost need, need the fourth and fifth uh, tray for what I'm trying to do for this type of build. Um, that's the penalty for flying torps badly is being forced to run beam overload for a month. Terrible. Question for you regarding fleets. I've been out of the game since before the summer event. Will fleets auto close if we aren't active in a certain time frame? No, but if you have other people in the fleet, they'll have the option to take the fleet from you and, and claim leadership after 30 days of you being inactive. If no other high ranking member has been in that, has been active in that time frame also. So if all of the rank sevens are inactive for a month, someone at rank six can claim it. If no one at rank six has been active for a month also, then rank five, and so on and so on. So if you have other people in your fleet, um, you don't have to worry about your fleet, you know, being shut down, 
but if you're inactive for that long duration uh, of 30 days or more, then your fleet can be taken away from you if other people are in the fleet. Oh, then you should be fine. The the eagle, like, if you're looking at torp builds right now, the eagle is literally the only platform that matters to you. That's not my fleet. I, I actually did be how that that's what I did with that character over there is I claimed ownership at one point because no one was online. And then I, I was inactive on that character for such a long time. And it was also, I think that fleet has that, that fleet. Um, doesn't it have a bunch of rank sevens? Yeah, my, my main fleets are the Breakfast Club and the Breakfast Club KDF. <laughs> yes, Warpcore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't, like, the thing is, when you take ownership, the other people are still at rank 7, so you still have to demote them. Um, yeah. Riddle, does it go? And how's Oscar? Oscar's doing really good. The, the latest version is uh, working very well here. The tables, um, those should reset on the first, right? Get Nick's run uploaded and get my... Well, the only record I have up right now is my left right, uh, my left right do run from the other day. It doesn't reset on the first. Gotcha. Nick almost beat Hans. It was so damn close. So, so close. And Nick's piloting in this three, four was bad. Uh, Rob, when we're looking at um, our runs, especially the speed of our runs, we don't even really need Suppression Barrage, dude. Just a lot of PFP on the tank. Basically set it up as a support with Threatening Stance on and put, like, PFP on. Gotcha, mid-April. Yeah, there, so there was a comment earlier in this uh, stream, too, about... Um, you know, is it bad that the, the meta has evolved to a point where we're looking at, you know, specific ships being the only viable option? And I do think that is somewhat the case. Um, you know, the Type 7 pets are basically the only viable meta, like, min-max pets right now. Any other pet is just, why are you doing that? Um, the, when you look at Torp Boats, it's literally just the Eagle. When you're looking at a support at a high level, it's currently just the, the Silic and the, the variants of that for the other factions because of the IFF manipulator console. It, it, there are some parts of the current meta that suck because due to one restriction or another, uh, Cryptic has basically pushed us into just a few ships being viable. So if I, I want to show you guys, I have the IFF console just to show you why it matters. Um... So IFF here, so IFF manipulator, let me take a picture of this, that'll be better. Snipping. So um, the IFF manipulator here, this can provide up to 400 all damage resistance debuff and the duration of this will scale based on your control and the amount of debuff does scale down um, per nearby enemy so if you have 10 enemies around your primary target this console does nothing but if you have even if you're hitting this at like the left transformer and infected there's only like five or six enemies there so you're still getting like 200 debuff per console or per per IFF manipulator used. So this console in a high level environment is impactful enough in those high end runs 
that the only viable support platforms we have are the ones that can use this console. No, min-max is not required at all for playing story or normal advanced content. Absolutely. Is there an up-to-date build of the Silic somewhere? I think there's some posted in the builds Discord. Um, but mostly, like, the, any any Silic build from the past one or two years is still going to be... should still be fine. The, the new stuff is basically, like, slotting the friendship trait and the Iwani console if you're doing a do run. This console is off of the Sulabon Silic, but the issue is, is that it's locked to the Silic, so... This isn't something that everyone needs to go out and get, but if you're like interested in doing high-end DPS stuff and you're looking to do like supported runs with a coordinated team, this console is hugely impactful. Yeah, min-max is specifically for like if you're chasing deeps records, yeah. If you're not running with the team and chasing DPS records, this doesn't matter to you, but if you are, then... There are unfortunately limitations that severely limit what platforms are viable for you. I guess too, I should show you guys the Marion in action, shouldn't I? So we we've seen, you know, I just put the side tort build on it and it I mean it's it's okay. I need to improve the keybinds because right now the keybinds sort of suck on it but um let me show you guys some footage of this with the side nuker setup now the, the side nuker setup side nuking is something you shouldn't try to replicate because it, it's only relevant to very very high-end runs um and it sucks for for even just doing channel runs but i'm going to show you guys some footage from Nick's current record, this is 3.4 mil. Um, for this, I was also using the, the Marion. And basically, the, the objective as a side nuker is to just go in and nuke the right side and clear it up. So the idea is to just decloak, you know, and take things out fast as possible. Now this, this run was not perfect. I, I was really slow with my activations and my keybind was not cooperating with me. But basically you just want to take the side out fast and I was actually pretty slow on that one. And then clear out the spheres or if you have like chains of fire or TBR with the, the pulled off, you pull them over to the center. But you see like I take out the right side decently fast, but then taking out the spheres takes a while. Those those. those Side nuker builds, they're literally designed to just do a large burst of damage, and then they suck afterwards. But this this is why I picked up the Marion, is because I, I thought it was going to be a nice upgrade over the Courage for, for these specific types of runs. Yeah, it's just a matter of taking, taking the side down fast enough. Okay. I need to redo some keybinds here. What I want to do is pop open the keybind tool. Doing the keybind video live. Download. I need to set up a new keybind. The keybind tool is really easy to use. Okay, STO keybinds. There we go. So for the keybinds I'm doing here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my F key be tray 10. That's going to be my main spam bar. Now, most people would do something different. I just, I'm weird. So F key is going to be 
tray 10, and that's going to be execute full tray. That's all that that key is going to be. Key G is going to be very similar. So this is G. I'm going to set this up to be execute full tray on tray 9. Next key. I'm going to set my spacebar up. Spacebar is going to execute full tray. Uh, tray one. Next key is going to be a uh, shift spacebar. And this is going to be specifically fire all cannons and beams and i'll put mines on it also you don't want to one of the biggest things that a lot of people do that's a, a big mistake when it comes to keybinds is a lot of people put their fire all weapons right on their main keybind and what you'll see is that like you're spamming your space bar and your weapons are just like constantly flashing and you're actually making you can make your weapons fire less because you're spamming the command so much that the server may be rejecting it. It just is a big mistake a lot of people do with their keybinds. So have your fire all weapons on a separate key. Shift plus spacebar works very well for me. Next up, I'm going to do my C key. For C, I'm going to have this execute full tray. We're going to do tray eight. My next key is going to be key V. I need to add in a fourth bind here. So V is going to be tray seven. Execute tray, tray seven. And then I'm going to do left control. That not an option here. Do I have to just hit control? Control is going to be partial tray. I'm setting up my mind key bind. Or my mind key bind here. So tray four, plots seven through ten. Quickly redoing my keybinds here. That ought to be fine. Then all I have to do is create bind file, copy to clipboard, pop that command right into my chat window. And just like that, my keybinds are changed. Server rejecting commands, click even faster. Terrible. But that that's basically all you have to do for setting up keybinds. Now, I just made some like super complicated keybinds, but if you're just doing, you know, spam bar, that you can see how this this tool makes that like stupidly easy. It is a lot of keys. It is. That it is. Salvage your bowel full auto rifle. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so um, I'm going to move some things down here quickly. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna have C be my alpha key bind, where I have my big damage buffs. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move my mine stuff down to tray four. 
I have less on the tray there. I'm going to put another copy of Merge Powered Engines on my second tray here. Basically setting this up like I would for a normal twerp setup. Let's do M second. Elfic. Copy a beta. Hit F12. To rearrange your HUD, hit F12. And you can also, you know, bring up multiple uh, trays if you want. Um, yeah, you hit F12 and you can move things around. That's a lot of keys. You have a lot of things you're trying to control on high end runs. Dark Eddie, how's it going? Happy Easter. I is that this weekend? I don't know. I don't I don't do many holidays. Terrible. See you. See you around. Okay, let's resave that loadout. And see how it goes. I'm going to try another Argala because it's been long enough. Just see if I do any uh, worse here. The LX backlog is gone right now. The Phoenix event, yeah. And if you're on console, you know, do keep in mind there is a Dilithium event going on right now. No, my Maelstrom didn't get the spread or... I don't know. I don't have my real time up. Looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. Warning, ship is under attack. Yeah, these key are gonna be a bit to get used to. Keep concentrating fire on individual ships. Separate them. The FPS lag is brutal. We will not go quietly. I'm off right away. You will yeah, I'm gonna have to down. change the keybind for more. I make my alpha key. Uh, two trays. are picking up small habitations in some of the asteroids, possibly consistent with bolt holes, temporary hideout. Someone's dead. I need to change these keybinds around a bit more. Picked up a tight beam transmission on a new frequency. We're jamming that spectrum of their comms now, but it was probably a call for assistance. Ah, 
I keep hitting the wrong key there. Captain Captain, excellent work. We'll send over a pacification party. Take the suspect into custody. Keybinds take a while to get used to, especially when you're changing them up. How can the deluxe disappear like that? It's the the Phoenix event. Everyone needs those. E6 Thank upgrades. And Everyone to wants to do X, you know, an X, X, and that you get X to their ships, so. Your space. Again, th this isn't the most impressive Psy Torp setup I've ever seen, but I mean, it's... It works. Let's do a Hive. Let's see how bad I do in there. My keybinds, I've just changed everything up, so I'm flying around. Hitting things terribly. Yeah, I heard about that. The Xbox. Um, so, so cons players now have the bridge officer issues that PC had a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people put a lot of money in for Phoenix packs. Shows just how easily the Dilex could come down if there was a consistent, like, a, a really nice uh, Dilithium sink in there. Is the Crossfield refit? If you so, if you enjoy flying a ship, then next to it. Yeah, if you if you enjoy flying a ship, then absolutely, then go ahead and upgrade it. By the way, random note, if anyone here happens to have a boost that they could toss the builds discord, it would be greatly appreciated. We're about to lose a boost here in 11 hours, so just one boost to maintain it would be appreciated. Random note, I'm getting ads now. Oh, yeah. Shilling for Discord? Yes, absolutely. Shilling for the Discord. If you're like a Discord Nitro uh, member, um, you get some boost. Basically, the, the boost unlocks certain perks on the server. Um, so, it like on the builds Discord, it enables us to, to have the custom invite link, the extra emoji slots, all that fun stuff. Just some nice little perks there. Yeah, if you have Discord Nitro, you get two boosts with that each month. Um, and you can give them to servers that that you like. Um, and then after that, after the, the two boosts, you go to memberships, then that, that costs money. There, there should be a Delta recruitment event next month, correct? There should be, in theory. Okay. The bald man just welcomed me to the Builds Discord? Oh, no. Delta recruit is ROM, Fed, and KDF. Okay, I'm going to do a Hive Onslaught Elite. Um, a tank would be ideal, but if we want to get some different people in from before, or a different set of people in for, for this run versus the infected run before, that'd be great. So who wants to join for a Hive? And ideally, if someone has a tank, that would be uh, much appreciated. But yeah, Delta is the only one that has uh, Romulan as part of the recruit. You can have a Rom, uh, you can have a Delta recruit for Fed, Rom, and KDF, and what that does is just let you get a couple extra rewards. Um, basically, there there's faction exclusive mission chains that 
are part of the Delta Recruit event. And if you want to go in and get all of those, then you would want to have a Delta Recruit for Fed, ROM, and KDF. Um, but if you don't want to go through all that, then you know, just make a ROM Delta. Yeah, it's just uh, extra marks into lithium. Ice Knight, thank you. Very much appreciated. Okay, so Warpcore wants to join. So we have a tank. Who wants to join for Hive? Hive Onslaught Elite. It's the Klingon recruit that has the uh, the scatter volley uh, trait. So Cheops, Krellian, who's next? Um, there was one I missed before. Um, I can't scroll up my chat to see who I missed before. Martin, was it you? Cheops, what's your at handle again? It's just Cheops, right? There you go. X Jim, okay. I don't see Martin in chat, so X Jim will get you in on this one. Yes, we have a tank. Is everyone here good to go? Yeah, thank you, CJ. Got warp core. Okay. Hive onslaught elite. Here we go. Warp core, I believe in you. That form was flat. Weak. Valuable. Max part got moved really fast, damn it. Gotta hit the right keybinds. It's gonna take a bit to get used to, damn. Oh yeah. Not even targeting anything right now. It's gonna take me a bit to get used to. I forgot to hit activate on the parser. No. It's an engineer tank, it just doesn't have the damage output to keep up. The late cutscene there, what the hell? 
Your efforts are futile. Destroy this vessel, and I will claim another. This game is going to be a while for me to get to. That's terrible. 536. She helped you beat me. That was terrible for me. Thank you for, for the run there. I've got keybinds on here that are just tripping me, tripping me out because they're different from what I'm used to. Uh, Krellian, I had you at 208k. Yeah, we got Space Engineer in here. If we had Whipcore in as the, uh, the engineer. Uh, yes. Number one, Microvax, don't use team abilities. And if you do use team abilities, like attack team, side team, inch team, don't have them on your keybind. You um, manually hit them if you do have them. You will have um, of purpose. You, will you know, look at the abilities you're putting on your tray and make sure you don't have a bunch of stuff on there that has really long activation times. Anything that is one second or longer activation, I would not have on my primary keybind. Um... Don't have fire weapons on your keybind. Have them on, like, on, on your main keybind. Like, for me, I have my spacebar, and then I have shift plus spacebar, which is actually the fire weapons. And then I have my weapon set to auto fire. And I have the auto fire setting in controls set to maintain auto attack. If you're going in and your main spacebar keybind has fire all weapons on it, you're hurting your own damage output. Um... You know, if you have team abilities on your, your main keybind, like TAC team, you're hurting your damage output. If you have redistribute shields on your main keybind, you're hurting your damage output. Um, so just look at look at the stuff that you're putting on your keybind and also look at the abilities you're actually putting in your tray. Yeah. So yeah, I'll put the build in uh, the Discord. I don't think it's particularly that great of a build. Um, like, it's it's not one that I'd probably fly a ton, but I mean, it, you if you got used to the keybinds, if you set it up, you know, keybind-wise in a way that worked for you, I think you'd have no issue with it. But I have overly complicated keybinds on right now, and I just changed them midstream, so trying to get used to things is sort of... Uh, Difficult. I'm not trying to be mean, Shinga. I'm just looking at Discord. Okay. When I, I got a question earlier in Discord about showing, you know, how showing a build for the Atlantis on all three careers. And I asked what the difference is. What is the difference between the careers? I blame Chell. Chell's the elitist one. It's always Chell. Okay, I'm gonna post this picture in, or the, the build in Discord. Um, again, it's not great. It's gonna go on the Spencer's Builds channel.
snipping tool go? I'm not even going to post the trays in there because the trays are just a complete cluster right now. Um, so, Jay, what I do with, with my weapons, uh, so with the Fire All Weapons command, is I have them on Shift plus Spacebar. So when I'm going in at the start of a run, I just hit Shift plus Spacebar, and that starts firing my weapons, and then auto fire keeps them going. So I, I don't have them on the space bar itself. It's shift plus space bar to, to fire weapons. Roscoe, thank you for the follow. Look, I am going to be cutting things a bit short here today because there's, there's some mac and cheese out there uh, that, that just... Uh, Uh, that's fresh out of the oven and Cytorp is is sort of rough. What the purpose of adding that command in is. Um the the purpose of having that in is just to you, you still want to have a way to fire your weapons when you get in there, you know, to just to start the process of them firing. Um you can just double click on an enemy, but I, I just like to just have that separate key bind. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for, for tuning in. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream. The the Marion, it, it can work. Um, you probably would do something a little bit different than what I've done here. Like I know a lot of you really like the dark matter, so you probably put that up front. Some of you may not do the maelstrom. Um, I'm just doing some different things here. I mean, it, it did a mill and infected. You could probably put a build on that uh, does a little bit more, but it, it worked. It's not the most effectively. Overall, I think the Marion is a good ship. There's there's a few different ways to set it up that are going to be very viable. Hopefully this gives some of you that were curious about it, you know, some some thoughts on some different approaches to it. But this is by far not... But, you know, it's far from perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all for, for tuning in. Let me find who to raid over on the Twitch side. Roscoe, you just found me. I'm sorry. this person have oh this person speaking differently okay okay uh that that's an interesting name uh for those of you on twitch i'm sending you over to the great cornholio as a console player so go say hi for the youtube side again thank you all for tuning in i might do a like a news recap video here in the next couple of hours um should at least have the Q&A video out tomorrow. And thank you all for, for tuning in. Sorry, the stream was a bit shorter than normal. Terrible. See you guys around.